Hello, today we're looking at using DB Primary effectively, uh, particularly for learning in maths. And I am looking for you to be able to log on DB Primary, use the learning library, complete tasks on DB Primary, uh, use the My Work folder to upload your work, sending emails, uh, and we're looking at getting a little, a little bit more independence um, for use of the software. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to log on. So I'm going to open my internet browser. Type in Medway Community Primary School. Don't type in DB Primary. And here we are. And that will take you to our home page. Now along the top, scroll until you find children. And then scroll down until you find DB Primary. Give that a click. Then it says click here to go to DB Primary. And there we are. You'll know you're in the right place because this little board here will say Medway Community Primary School. If this board is blank, you are in the wrong place and the login will not work. OK, so make sure that that says that. So I'm going to type in the username and password. I'm using a test pupil account, so this is not an actual person's account. So when I log in, I can see that I've got some alerts here notifications oh look mrs fletcher sent me some work okay what's on tells me what's been happening so i can click. um over here things to do that's where the work that you have been set is we have mail over here reading and writing your email you have a calendar work rewards and activities so we're going to start with things to do. I'm going to do to upload a document. So click on that. And it says I need to upload a document. And if there was any information for the task, it would be here, but it isn't. So I need to create a document just to upload it. So I'm going to open any software. I've opened Microsoft Word. Um, so I'm going to call this test document file. Save as. And I'm going to save that in desktop there. And then I can return to here, click on upload, click on the folder that it was saved in, and there it is. And well done, you have completed the task. And you can see that the task has disappeared because it wanted me to upload a document, and that is what I've done. Usually it will give you more instructions than that. That's just because it's a test. Now, dinosaur fossil. Ooh, that's really big because if you look, it was due two hours ago. So the, I'm actually late handing this one in. So I'm going to have to do this one rather quickly. The last one was quite small because it still had quite a time. Watch the video at this. Answer these questions. Okay. So here I can just type directly into this box. I'm not going to do all of it because for the purposes of this video, I don't need to. But what you can do, and this is quite helpful, if you highlight everything and right click on it, copy, scroll down, right click again, paste, and there are all my questions so I don't have to type them out. So I could say, oh, which animals don't exist today? I might say, dodos don't exist today. Uh, what do you know about any dinosaurs and prehistoric life? I'm going to leave those blank because for the purposes of this I don't need to do it, but this is effectively what you're doing to save this. But what if I decide that what if I've started it, but actually I decide I don't particularly want to do it. So I might go, I'll come back to this later when I've got more time. Let's save it, try that. Have you finished? Now, I don't think this is ready to hand in yet, so I'm going to say no. And now that is still there, but it's got a little star on it. So I click back in. Oh, look, there's the work I did before. So I can add a little bit extra there. What do I know about dinosaurs? Well, I know that they were reptiles. 
and I can save and when I'm happy with it I can press yes and that will submit it oh look and it's gone so you're getting the idea now in my work you will see the document both the one that I've uploaded and the one that I created in DB primary and if I want to review any of those I can simply click on them and I can open it and oh, there it goes so that's nicely uploaded there so this is the my work section now if I want to upload something else I can just click upload this doesn't have to be related to a task and I'm going to go and I quite fancy a picture of a giraffe or maybe I've done some written work on a piece of paper and I want to show my teacher I could take a photo of it and upload it using this method and you see the time is still going up oh, and now it's gone so here's my picture of a giraffe oh isn't it lovely and oh look this is me there we go and if I go back to my home page there I am I'm now a giraffe isn't that fun okay so if I then move down I might say I might look at this one I might say oh Oh, these are my worksheets let me click on one and then open it oh and there it goes so are these lines horizontal and perpendicular so I'm looking at this and going hmm I don't understand what that means what is perpendicular so I might close this and then I might say oh I need to email mrs. Fletcher about that so I'm going to go back to my home page and I'm going to write an email going to write a mail and I want to send it to um, right so I'll click my email address and now I'm going to click on next step I'm going to write an email uh, iron man comprehension that's what my email is about and I'm going to say dear mrs. Fletcher I am stuck on the maths work for shape lesson two and need help what is a perpendicular what does perpendicular mean many thanks test pupil okay so I've written that and then I can I can press next step and then I can just check that that looks all right. I think it does. Let me send it. And then I've sent that email off to Mrs. Fletcher and she'll get back to me when she's got time. Now, if I need to have any help with various things, I can visit the Skip with Three homepage here. And I can have a look at the blog. I can also go and look at, oh, I want to learn more about determination. And they're on there. So I can read that information to help myself. Okay. I think I need to close this task. Cancel. There, now it's disappeared. So, I can now look at activities. Now, here are all of the activities and we're focusing on maths activities today. I'm going to click there. I'm in year three, so I'm going to set that. Now down here at the bottom you can see pupil tools. If you click on that, there's lots of really interesting and useful tools that you can use to help you with your maths. So we've been learning about 3D shapes. I'm going to click on that. And you can see, oh, I've got a cube here as it says it at the top. But I think it would be helpful to see it with just a wireframe move it around that's nice what if I put shading on it is that shading translucent I'm going to sort of see through it but not entirely what if I wanted to use shading oh, there we go or a solid color 
Maybe I want to look at the net that would make it. And you can do this with octahedron there. You've got a sphere. Lots of the basic shapes that we looked at last time. So I'd like you to have a play around with that. Have a look at that. Other things I can do if you're working on finding the difference, and most of you should be, you can go on here and quiz yourself, finding the difference up to... Move that up a bit, there we go. Finding the difference... You can guess and test yourself. You can move these lines up. So we can go up to 200. What's between 55? What's the difference between 55 and 175? There you go. And you can keep doing that. You can make it all the way up to 1,000 if you like. You can find the difference between these numbers and challenge yourself there, which I suggest you have a good go at. So lots of things for you to have a play around with there, which I'd like you to do today. Also, if you go on live maths games, these are brilliant for multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, your four operations, just getting your mental recall to where it should be. There's also a variety of other tasks that you can do, that you can choose to do. Oh, there you go, addition to 120. And these are all things that you can direct yourself to do. Um, it's about taking control of what you know you need to work on and going and doing that self-learning. I will know who's been doing self-learning because I will be able to see what activities you've done, how long you spent on them, when you went on them. I get informed of that. So I'll be looking to see people doing this and using these tools and live math games and various other tasks um, over the next week or so. So that's what I'd like you to do today. There's also various tasks that you can do from the other topics, but we're thinking mainly about the math now. So I can return to my home page. When I get a reward, which is reward, we can do lots of self-learning tasks that I think are appropriate for you. You will get a reward, it will show up in there. I can write an entry on my blog and I can say, today I went on the maths tool section of db primary i learned about 3d shapes and i can put that in a little blog and other people can comment on that if they want we've got to remember about blogs is that anyone can anyone on the school server who has access to your account can see them so don't put anything on there that you wouldn't want people to see um, just be careful about that. Right, I think that's pretty much everything. Let's return to our screen. So we said we can log on. Yes. We can use the learning library. Yes. We can complete tasks. Yes. We can upload things into the My Work folder. Yes. And we can send emails. Excellent. Well done. Um, so for the rest of, the, well, for today, for maths, I would like you to go onto the maths tools and have a good play around with them um, use them as you see fit, look at the maths games, look at the maths activities and I would like you to do some self-directed learning. So that's learning that you think will help you. Not okay, thank you very much. Um